it's also lead me to realization that this small mode is not for everyone. It is hard. It is tough. But you know what? It built me mentally so much stronger within the last two weeks than I could have tried to build it two months without doing this. And you know what's crazy? The more result that you see, the more you want to continue pushing. Because it's almost like when you see yourself from a different perspective and you have that respect for yourself for what you do, then you start wondering, what else can you do? I want to see more of this person, this brand new person. So... I'm really curious for what's happening next. Hi guys, today I am back with Mong Mode Week 2 Record. For those of you who saw my week 1, I talked about recording for first week of my Mong Mode and after that, I'm going to do month to month record because I want to see my process and I'm planning to do this for 6 months. For those first time watching this video, welcome and I want to go very briefly into what is Mong Mode and why am I doing it. So Mong Mode Protocol is a life changing way of living through cutting out all outer stimulation and purely focus on working on myself and focusing on my projects. Hi, my name is Delilah. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about motivational self-growth, healing, how to find happiness through purpose. And if you are here for some laughs, please check out my shorts. I'm sure you have good laughs. Let's dive right into today's subject, Mong Mo Protocol Week 2. Would you please excuse me? I sound a little bit off today because I've been feeling under the weather, but that doesn't stop me from recording this video and sharing it with you. That's how my mind has shifted another level. So I stopped at day five the last time. And in my journal, I write down about day six and day seven. I literally can hear my higher self. I can hear her when I'm being distracted, when I caught myself scrolling on YouTube because it's the only social media I have left now. I would hear this voice that, hey, Delilah, you losing focus. Focus again. What truly matters to you? And that's the minute that I stop and go back to the purpose of me getting into the monk mode. There is definitely a magical change because I went to the park on the weekend. I haven't had a feeling of being fun, being like a child, kiddish. When I was in high school, I remember, I think it was my space that was in. So to me, the simple joy was just go to an outdoor mall every weekend. And I would look forward to those moments. It was so much fun. I feel like our life, we're being stimulated so much by everything that we have that we kind of lose our feeling we kind of numb our sensation by keep expecting more so i haven't enjoyed that same feeling until i went to the park last week literally i did not look at my phone and just watching the sunset a park sunset it feels like i was in another country witnessing the most beautiful outstanding sunset that i can ever see Sorry, there's like car noise, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. I'm going to read to you a part of what I wrote, a feeling I had after I come home from just watching the sunset at the park. It feels so good to experience nature's dopamine since we have high expectation for life and pleasure because of what we get to experience as adults. A sunset at a park feels like a trip to another country. The way pink reflects from the sky to the surface of the lake creating a mirror effect suddenly become a million dollar views in my eyes. It left me feeling breathless. So that was how I was feeling. And after that, uh, the next day, I attend Alice Abdad's class. I woke up at 7 a.m. that Saturday and he was talking about, about a lot of stuff that bring up a lot of emotion. And then I felt so proud of myself because it's not something that I would usually do. Like Saturday is my sleeping in day. Like I'm not going to wake up for, you know, whatever reason it is. But I woke up. So I, you know, start crying. I just felt so happy. After that, I went to the gym and have a super productive Saturday. When I meditate, I start to hear a lot more clarity and I've been posting a lot. If you guys saw my YouTube, you see I've been posting almost every day. And if I tell you that I don't care about the views, I'm lying. But 
I definitely care way less than before my mom mode. I just keep focus on the reason why I make the YouTube video and why am I sending out a message to others. The only time I would really look at it is to see why am I not doing good? What can I do to do better? And then of course, during the meditation, I can hear my higher self tell me to set an alarm. So when am I allowed to check my phone? Because if I constantly just checking to see how many views I get, how many people uh, subscribe to me and it would create anxiety and unnecessary stuff which is the opposite effect of me going into mom mode yeah it's a lot of awareness we can call it my higher self talking to me or it's just me the better version of me speaking my future self whatever it is whoever it is it is definitely there for the better good which also lead to me practicing what i preach not taking things too serious be sincere there's so many things in life that's not fun already so we need to make it fun to do what our heart truly call for the more we seek for validation the more we are stuck into our own matrix if i understand this concept then i better act on it and this is the part i want to talk to you about so i've been feeling not my best the last few days and i keep pushing from i believe the ninth of this month i was already feeling under the weather i took a, an eye shower instead i add more eyes into the shower trying to wake myself up and just be at it not being a chicken and trying to go back on my word you know what's crazy the eye shower feel better than the cold shower i don't know maybe i was just numb and i can't feel anything anymore but i did love that more than just the cold shower so when you see how wrecked i am after honestly it's not that bad because you know why? I don't feel it anymore. It's numb. <laughs> so I'm not going to stop doing that. One of the challenges got to me was to do a business plan of something that I really don't understand much about at one of my projects, but I pushed myself to do it. I kept telling myself, even if I did a bad job at it, at least I'm doing it. And then I can improve from that versus I'm not taking action. Then how am I going to get better? So for the last few days, my internal alarm automatically wake me up by about 5, 520s. So that was another big move that I didn't need the regular alarm clock anymore. So I got up, but I did not take a cold shower for the last three days because I don't feel good. And I'm scared if I do that and I might feel worse. Who knows? It might have the reverse side effect, but I don't want to risk right now. However, I will come back to that tomorrow, okay? I'm not taking that out of my morning routine. It's a must. Now, when I was cooking, I did wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning and 6.30 maybe and take an eye shower. But that's because I have no choice. I know that I have to serve 40 people with like 12 different courses. So I was very proud of myself then for executing things within two hours and a half. But it's a different type of feelings because after that, I have validation from the clients, from people telling me how much they love my food. And then I would have the dopamine and I would stay up all night to celebrate myself. It's different because with this case, being in mong mode, no one is lighting the fire under my ass and tell me to keep moving. But I keep moving. It's a different type of discipline that I've gained on myself versus when I have no choice. I have to work. It helped my head build a different version of myself. I also attend another class that's for my side project business. And as I attend the class, I've realized how much I was behind and I was really procrastinating on pushing it to become something that I need to focus on. I was slightly mad at myself, but instead of beating myself up, I realize that it's better late than never and at this point right now i will not stop and i know what i need to do so it's gonna be a very busy week this week and my side project now is as important as my youtube channel so let's see how it's gonna be for the next week on the weekend i woke up and did hiking meditate with mother nature's and i can feel such high vibration from being in the present moment with things around me went to a museum to a library it's really appreciate things and doing picnic i was thinking to myself i don't really need alcohol i don't know why i always have a thought that i need a drink let's make this day more fun by pack some beer bring some drink with me not sure why I'm always in the need of that, but it doesn't matter now. I can enjoy and I can have fun without a drink. 
that is a level up to me so last night i didn't feel good i keep pushing until i really have no choice and i took two night quail and of course i slept i missed the gym this morning i woke up i was still feeling drowsy from the medication but i read i spent one hour and a half reading and i forced myself to record this content so there are part i'm easy on myself which is not forcing myself to the gym because my whole body is aching but even if i don't sound as good right now i'm still making this content and then you know what i realized when we are in low vibration we seem to have a lot of negative thoughts coming through which is when i'm feeling a little sick lately I felt like when I closed my eye and meditate this morning, I can hear people wondering what happened to her. She disappeared. I mean, I turned on my Facebook, Instagram, and all these thoughts start coming to my mind. Like, oh my God, people are judging me. Like, she disappeared. She's probably not doing well in life. Who knows what's happened to her? Maybe she's depressed right now. Or simply think, what if I get out of this long mode? And nothing. None of the project that I want to work on even make it then what's gonna happen? And then I realized, wow, girl, that's a lot of doubts going on in your mind right now, but I'm not going to let you take over me doubts. So instead of denying it, I just watch it, okay? One combined after another, just start, go, 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 like car, go. And I just stand there and I become the observer. And I realize, you know what? It's just my doubt. My doubts actually are the keys to make me stronger now, because guess what? I will prove you wrong doubt watch out for me all right that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will come back next week with the mong mode week three protocol i am just so excited to be on this journey and i just wish i've done it earlier but again you know it's never too late to start anything that you know excuse me would be good for your heart and your soul I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a like and subscribe. Please share this video to those in need who want to start the mom mode, but not sure how it's going to be with the hectic life out there. And if you have anything to let me know, please don't hesitate to leave on the comment section. If you have any question for me or what would you like to see more? Because it's so important to me to create a content that you will love. It's not just for my record, it's for you too. I'll see you later. Sending you so much love and light. Bye-bye.